the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Listen, do you know when the wisdom of God comes upon your life, the wisdom of God can turn you. I've seen some of my pictures, you know. I don't like looking at them. But I've seen some of my interesting pictures. I remember how impressed I was with myself at the time I snapped that picture. And I am surprised to see the contrast. I believed I dressed well. I believed that the tailor was fair on me. I believed I was at my best. I still remember how confident I felt snapping those pictures. But now looking at those things today, sometimes I wonder and I say, my God. That something can happen to you today. It will take a telescope to look at your yesterday. By making rain a robe of honor upon you for someone you came for this miracle service tonight you are out of the grave but your hands and your feet are still bound with grave clothes i don't know how many of you would like to give such a person a hug there are madmen all around our cities and some of them dress in ways that you wonder how they dressed who dressed them that way and sometimes they come to you with joy even wanting to shake you why do you run away at least it's god's creature why are you running away from the person you don't run away from animals like that but here is somebody in the image of god that you're running away because there's something about his dressing if a madman wears suit and tie puts a nice perfume and is still mad you most likely will not run away because he does not look mad is that true so one of the ways you identify problems is by what you are wearing. You can wear a garment that drives every good thing from your life. Please hear me. It is possible that a garment is upon you that makes people forget you. It is possible that a garment is upon you. It says remove the grave clothes, lose him and let him go. I didn't bring him out to keep him at the door of the tomb. I want him to go. He is out by power, but it will take wisdom to lose him and let him go. Is someone ready to pray? Jump up on your feet and cry unto the Lord. Reveal your glory in my life as the power of God and as the wisdom of God. Please go ahead and pray. Some like Lazarus would need to be called forth from one dimension to the other from failure to victory from defeat to success but there are others who are already out but you need the know how to remove the grave clothes you need to know what to do go ahead and pray reveal yourself oh god in the name of Jesus Christ, reveal yourself. Are you praying? As the wisdom of God, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Wisdom tells you what to do. And it works closely with understanding that tells you how to do. There is always something to do.
You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are mighty, so mighty in your way. You are mighty, you're mighty in your way. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are mighty, you are mighty. I was very, very humbled. I always am broken when I hear of the sacrifices that people make for every service. From as early as 8, 9, 10, there were people already here. Some of you have been here since morning, inside, outside, everywhere, enduring. Some of you have not even eaten just to encounter the God of heaven. Do you really believe that God will keep you that long? just to share the grace and go back no hello him adonai hello him adonai hello him adonai hello him adonai the power of the most high revealed in the midst of his people the wisdom and the grace of this God hallelujah hallelujah we're going to start tonight with the sick i really want to minister to the sick listen let me tell you this the healing ministry is a very cardinal cardinal validator of the gospel the healing ministry remove the healing ministry from the gospel um, you have reduced its potency by a very serious degree you read the Bible everywhere the communication of the truth of the gospel everywhere you find the message of the gospel or the communication of the doctrine you find the healing ministry everywhere Jesus is revealed you find a healing ministry please look up let me tell you something about the healing ministry why does God heal for many reasons one of them being that there is no human being who has been given the privilege of entering two bodies in a lifetime as benevolent as God is he can replace parts in the body but we do not have any record of anyone 
who, le who left one whose spirit was extracted out of one body completely organs have been transplanted within the same organism everyone is given one body per lifetime one body per lifetime satan knowing this you don't receive forgiveness only once you don't receive mercy only once but this body the moment you are born that body remains with you and if anything happens to that body you have lost your chance of continuity as far as the earth is concerned are we together there is no record in scripture and there is no record as we know in history science has not come close to extracting a human spirit out of a body and transferring it into another body the only person who wanted to do that was satan himself when he was looking for the body of moses when moses died he wanted his body so that a demon could enter that body and he will create a a false moses and michael stopped him and said the lord that means this is not is not permitted the lord rebuke you listen to me bodies matter ask satan what he was looking for in a dead body the body of moses moses had died and satan said i am still interested in the body so everything that afflicts you is ministering death in a measure to you satan's ultimate goal in sickness and affliction is to break help help those under the anointing to deteriorate your body now listen i have taught you here that there is a threshold health condition for your spirit to live in your body when your body is broken and deteriorated beyond that level the spirit will no longer be able to stay and the spirit will have to live in a process called death even in resurrection the spirit still enters the same body the only time bodies will change is when the king himself makes that decree and this body will be changed from one that is corrupted to one incorruptible this is what the bible teaches us but that until then you have a responsibility to protect your body we protect our bank accounts more than our bodies we protect our cars a vehicle that can have an accident and you can save and buy another one but the one body most of us are using more than one cars multiple cars and you keep changing them even if nothing is wrong you are just tired of that body of a car you change another one but when this body goes bad so satan knows this everywhere god will take you is this body that will take your spirit so when jesus heals he's making a very serious statement how does he heal by correcting faulty conditions medical doctors will tell us that a man is as healthy as his organs his tissues and satan would start afflicting those things one by one we have all kinds of systems biology and medicine teaches us and most of us here it's possible that you have one medical report or the other that is threatening you an organ in your body some kind of condition i want you to believe to heal means to introduce the power of god like a drug listen you know medicine really teaches us how healing works when you pick a drug say you have headache and you pick paracetamol or anything you don't have to tell the drug where to go to your job is to swallow it is that true when you swallow it whatever happens at that point is none of your business again the drugs goes to your body and you know that the drug is working by looking out for changes in your body there are some of you when you swallow some drugs you start sweating you feel sleepy there are certain drugs they say eat before taking it there you, you know, they give all kinds of conditions but when that drug enters your body it begins to work the pharmacology of that drug has already been predetermined by those who those who have designed it yours is to swallow it and watch the wonder a tiny piece of whatever it is and you swallow and it begins to do all kinds of things
and sometimes medicine has advanced now to encourage us when they want to market certain products they animate the way the drugs destroy those germs have you seen those kinds of things if they want to market soap they show children with germs on their faces and then they show the mother buffing the child and you watch what that soap the 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 you know the, what they call them now the active ingredients what it does to those germs that's the same way the anointing works when the anointing enters your body you don't have to say go to my head or go to my hand you're placing your hand there just as a point of contact for your own faith not to encourage the anointing the anointing knows what to do the anointing starts searching for what does not look like the garden of eden it goes to your head everything is fine it goes to your heart and finds out that the devil is trying to put a hole in your heart let me tell you what it does the same power that raised lazarus the same power that raised christ from the dead is administered to that body and listen there are times that certain bodily parts have been so deteriorated you will need a new one and a new one can come Lazarus had died for three days. We are all intelligent people. If you die for three days, there's something called embalmment. Is that true? And let me tell you, the way they used to embalm people those days, even if you are pretending you must die, if they embalm you that way. You, you saw how they tied the man. If you are acting and, and playing games and they are done embalming you, you must die. They cover everywhere from head to toe so they, they, they cannot you can't doubt that lazarus died and yet you think that some of the organs had not packed up and failed blood was not flowing in that body and yet when the master said lazarus Kala parusiata. the same way in the name of jesus we are going to be making decrees now hear me when the word of the lord comes for your healing you have two responsibilities number one to believe in Jesus and to believe in the vessel that he's using number two to take a step of faith what is a step of faith actions of obedience the Bible says as they went not when they wanted to go go and show yourself to the priest that was suicidal if they ever appeared before the priest leprous they would be banished forever as they went that means when the power of God comes if you couldn't walk you have to take a step of faith remember acts chapter 3 silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus rise up and walk the bible says the man sat down and was watching and he held his hand and lifted him and he leaping stood if you lay your hands and they pray and you're just watching you most likely may not receive anything you receive by faith and you begin to check yourself it's a condition that you need to run to the medical stand to ask them to check you oh I, I came with HIV and the word has come I need to go there to check my blood pressure for instance is whatever over, over whatever the most important thing is that report is not good I need this change and once they pray you don't sit down and say I believe please check this for me you see let me tell you medicine and the supernatural were not designed to be enemies medicine confirms the supernatural that's why you don't fight doctors those who fight doctors to show that they are powerful are in ignorance doctors are symbols of god's mercy medicine if you are truly healed science will confirm it if you are healed of hiv or cancer or whatever it is um it is the medical confirmation that validates to us that the power of god has really come but to believe that the power of God cannot correct bodily conditions is to insult the resurrection power I'm ready to pray for the sick now we had such profound phenomenal miracles in Joss um, yesterday particularly during the miracle service it was such a humbling move of the Spirit of God you can do well to watch the video for your own personal edification I believe that it should be on our koinonia global page or so just watch it and learn it's not just to show that a man of god is powerful especially for those of you who are in ministry there's something about watching to see the power of god on display these are not some gimmicks that you're playing games no 
it's one thing to be healed at home and come and testify but it's another thing to testify real time are we together you can go to a shop for instance to buy popcorn the one they've made two days old three days old but there are people who will leave that one and they want the one that is popping there is an experience people love freshness this is why it's good that you receive testimonies and come and testify but there's something about the power of god on display real time it proves to people here and now that jesus is still alive are you ready now in one minute i like you to declare that any sickness within your body that is not of god any planting it must live right now and if you are standing for someone i know there are people watching in hospitals there are people watching by sick beds i want you to believe take your eyes away from the infirmity and pray my body my soul my spirit breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit breathe upon that fibroid breathe upon that lump breathe upon that genotype issue breathe upon that bone condition breathe upon HIV Breathe upon cancer. Breathe upon rheumatoid arthritis. Breathe upon any and all cardiovascular issues. Breathe upon weakness in body. Breathe upon eye conditions. Breathe upon ear conditions. Breathe upon reproductive issues. Breathe upon digestive issues. Breathe upon respiratory issues. Breathe upon neurological issues. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. I am going to pray. There are so many people outside. And all the overflows and thousands more following from across the globe give Jesus a chance Christ is about to be revealed as the power of God I believe in miracles I truly believe in miracles and right now I want to pray for you now listen don't start calculating and asking how will it happen just like that Mary asked that question already how shall these things be seen that I know not a man? He said the power of the highest. So the power of the highest is about to overshadow you. And listen. Listen. How the Holy Spirit got to the womb of Mary. Leave that to the intelligence of God. That is the same way his power. He does not need to open you with a surgical knife. He can get to your systems, your organs and correct things what is your own assignment to believe in jesus as the healer to believe in his servant as the vessel and to take steps of faith so when i pray for you i want you to believe whether or not i mention your case you must believe from the depth of your heart and i'm going to ask you to check yourself and do what you could not do 
the moment you check yourself i'll be giving you a chance for those who have been healed everywhere inside and outside the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you if and when i ask you to come out i want you to come out don't be afraid the moment you find out that you can do now what you could not do before believe in jesus take your eyes away from the sickness i learned this from benny Hinn. he said in in all his years of crusading around the globe he found out that people who were focused on their infirmities would hardly get healed and so worship helps us to focus on jesus and you take your eyes away from the bodily condition and the moment you look at jesus you are changed into that which you are seeing place your hand now as an act of faith everywhere you are trusting god for a miracle you can stand in for someone i see people following from across the globe some of you are lifting pictures of loved ones some of you are standing in for families remember there are whole families with all kinds of conditions give jesus a chance just help those under the anointing i'm about to pray right now and i'm praying in the name of jesus so you can trust answers to this prayer lay your hands everywhere if it's your head lay your hands on your head if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and if you're fine and whole and there's nothing wrong with you you can stand in for someone absolutely the centurion stood in for his child majesty just keep your hand there your majesty your grace has found me just as i am empty-handed but alive in your hands your majesty majesty forever i am changed by your love in the presence of your majesty keep those hands there now you do mighty things you do glorious things the healing power of jesus is flowing you're a faithful god awesome is your name you do mighty things you do glorious things shabala sabrande gebaratush kalibra hasia one more time you do mighty things you do such healing streams in this place right now now in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god the one exalted today as lord and christ I rebuke the root cause of every infirmity I rebuke the root cause of every disease I rebuke the root cause of every plague in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit help those under the anointing every spirit of infirmity every devil behind medical conditions blindness deafness dumbness blood conditions allergies in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead i banish you from these bodies right now in jesus name now i decree and declare in the name of jesus be healed now 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 
be healed now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet i bring you the life and power of jesus be made whole right now in jesus name every blind eye partial blindness or complete blindness you could not see well in the name of jesus i command begin to see now every deaf ear your left ear or your right ear i declare the ears open right now in jesus name every kind of allergy every kind of allergy around your body your skin i declare by the power that raised christ be healed now every growth in your body any part of your body at all i decree and declare be healed now the lord is ministering to me my god i'm hearing help that gentleman i'm hearing the word colon cancer colon cancer be healed right now in the name of jesus christ and i'm seeing someone follow this meeting you are following from federal medical center here in abuja the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is healing someone of severe bleeding in the gum you have severe bleeding your gum the moment you go to brush you just find out that blood starts gushing out right now the help them please the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ back pain the lord is healing back pain in the name of jesus everyone on wheelchair everyone on crutches using any kind of aid life to your limbs right now i declare begin to walk in the name of jesus everyone plagued by stroke partial paralysis and stroke probably they carried you in here in the name of jesus life to your body rise up and walk right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone you i don't know if is that you lost your sense of smell or you can't smell completely in the name of jesus let that sense be restored now i've seen god minister this case before that he's showing me you are you are a young lady you are not pregnant yet you are lactating you are producing breast milk in the name of jesus the power of god is coming upon you right now and i declare be healed right now in the name of jesus christ be healed right now the lord is healing a condition i'm seeing a vision and i'm seeing pid this is what i'm seeing it whatever that means in the name of jesus i decree and declare be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now now the lord is showing me a very interesting condition here there is a woman i'm not a doctor um and, and of course it's not everything we say here there are people with different from different um, age ranges and all of that and then we're on air but there is something in your system that does not allow the seed to get to you to be pregnant i see that that seed dies even before it gets there because of a a condition that you have right now the power of god i don't know where that person is right now the power of god is touching you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ you can see the testimony of our dear sister who came here 22 months of carrying a child 22 months anything in your body that is not the planting of the lord i flush it out right now now listen we are still praying it is it is still i'm still ministering healing but i'm seeing the power of god moving away i'm seeing at least this is at least 21 people from what i'm seeing there are objects that move physically you feel it in your body it begins to move sometimes from your leg down to various parts of your body this is not like you are dreaming physically you feel things moving the power of god is coming upon you right now at least 21 people 
be healed in the name of Jesus there is a gentleman here you came here as a stammerer you will marvel and wonder right now that stammering stops now that stammering stops now now I don't know I'm seeing someone I don't know if he's in this you know this vicinity but you have like a tumor in your brain a tumor that means something is growing that is is a tumor like it's, it's cancerous in your brain I don't know if you are following online but in the name of Jesus I want you to release your faith I bring you life be healed now be healed now I'm seeing someone in the overflow outside the overflow outside you're beginning to have symptoms it's like urinary problems but it's not really a urinary, urinary problem from what God is revealing to me this is the early stage of prostrate prostrates that prostrate cancer like it happens to men this is what God is telling me outside in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now I'm seeing a woman that takes in you get you actually get pregnant but it never crosses the third month by the third month a spirit comes to you you will have a dream and see either a human being or an animal chasing you or you will see yourself bleeding and you wake up physically bleeding help them please in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil to let you go now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a man you go to ease yourself and you're urinating blood I don't know what that condition is but you're urinating blood in the name of Jesus right now as I'm praying for you may the power of God touch you now there's someone you've been feeling something on your throat is as if um you know how you swallow something and it does not go down and it remains there it's been stuck for a long time in fact you are considering going to go and see the doctor so that they will check it maybe it's something that they need to take away right now as i'm praying the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least two people with this condition my god the lord is really healing i'm seeing several cases i'm seeing you wake up in the night and sit just sit on your bed you don't sleep for more than three hours no matter how long there is a spirit you can't once you wake up you can't go back to sleep again this thing has deteriorated your health i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed now that person is at the back the back of this auditorium this is what i'm saying that whoever that person is there is a spirit you are at the back of this auditorium may the lord bring you healing now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone my goodness whatever you eat you have to throw it out throw it up like you know how children eat and 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 throw up there's someone like that you are unable in fact you are being concerned that you are losing weight it's not like you are you are losing weight because you eat and then you just feel like you need to throw up something and you throw up what you have eaten it's a demonic condition in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a lady this thing has brought shame for you a part you had a dream and from that dream it's like they shaved you know how you go to the barbing saloon and they shave part of your is it your head or something like that there's someone you had that and from that time your hair does not grow again this is a very very demonic thing right now whoever you are fire is coming on that person now nose bleeding 
there's this thing they call nose bleeding that you just stand i'm seeing a gentleman you even wake up in the morning sometimes and you see blood your nose is bleeding you've gone to the hospital they treated you they gave you drugs but it seems like it's not gone right now the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ now i'm seeing someone your 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 tie is it a surgery it's like they had a surgery and of course respectfully speaking i don't know if it's that it was not done well but it looks like something is still broken there i'm seeing like the bone the bone here is still broken you are still feeling the pain it's not like you cannot walk but there is something broken there i declare healing right now now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name we change medical conditions right now in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus be healed in jesus name hallelujah now there is a woman sorry to have to describe the condition i'm seeing that your left breast started growing mysteriously like something is it looks like a lump or some you noticed it you are at the back this is a demonic thing you have not shared this thing with anybody i'm seeing this is a demonic thing it looks like a lump but if we don't pray against it they will tell you that you need to go for surgery because i'm seeing that this the devil wants to put cancer in your body we cause that spirit now hallelujah hmm. i'm watching a vision right now and i'm seeing someone pick like a cup of water to drink but that cup of water you see it was not ordinary water from the day you drank it something started happening to your teeth it's like you are losing your teeth one by one you've extracted some now and it looks like it's, it's like it's rottening i don't know it's, it's a condition you are feeling is literally it's as if you can pull out your teeth i don't know who that person is by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now now any health pattern running through families whether hepatitis my god whether hiv headache I'm going to mention a condition right now and when I mention that condition the power of God will start coming on a few people please don't be embarrassed this is a family I'm seeing symptoms of what we call obesity you don't have to be fat to, you are carrying that thing within you the power of God is setting you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ inside outside this is at least seven people is obey you know what obesity is that you you begin to get or you know ridiculously fat without controlling it whether you eat or not in the name of jesus i rebuke that demonic thing from your blood be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's a lady right now as i'm speaking to you you came here with terrible abdominal pain like abdominal pain it looks like there's fire all around your stomach you're going to feel that thing one more time and then it leaves you will never feel it again i bring you healing right now in jesus name now i believe that several miracles have happened here not just the ones that i i i you know i declared by the word of knowledge there are several people who have been healed this is what i want you to do we're going to hurry up I'm going to ask you to check yourself and the moment you check yourself already miracles are happening I will ask you to quickly please those who are outside all of the overflows and then those who are following online you can send in your testimonies all across the world let us know what the Lord is doing for you right now there are people within this auditorium and there are people outside this a place the overflows even across the road the power of god has touched you check yourself i want you to make your way very quickly and come and stand here let's have a few testimonies very quickly let's celebrate them as they come celebrate them very quickly as they come hallelujah now while they are coming 
are you seeing the lord touching people koinonia is this the best you can do please open the doors for those who are coming from several overflows let them make their way to the front in the name of jesus christ once you are seated in the next one or two minutes i want you to pray in the spirit and declare that the spirit of poverty and lack over my life just do what i'm asking you to do break it right now by prayer lift your voice and pray whilst you are seated everywhere those who have been healed make your way to the front make your way to the front in the name of jesus while we are praying check yourself outside any and all miracles check yourself all the overflows do what you couldn't do before you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself do so very quickly do so very quickly jesus is healing jesus is healing you could not move your body move your body right now you couldn't see far try to look far right now please make sure you direct those who are coming from outside if you need to open the doors for them let's know so that we have them here quickly those who are healed and coming from outside check yourself in the name of jesus christ go ahead You are rebuking the spirit that is behind poverty. You are rebuking the spirit that is back of poverty. There are principles, but there are spirits. It is God's desire to prosper you. Keep coming. Keep coming in the name of Jesus miracles are happening by the spirit healings are happening by the spirit miracles are happening the lord is also showing me a woman you gave birth and since you put to birth your body has not been normal something happened to you and it looks like you've been sick having like fever again and again and again long after you are done giving birth the power of god is also touching you right now and he's bringing you healing he's bringing you life in the name of jesus if you are coming to share your testimony make your way to the front very quickly ushers protocol let's direct them very quickly so that we save time awesome god how great thou art you alone mighty are your miracles i stand in awe of your holy and lord we pass and worship Awesome God, how great thou art, you alone, mighty are your miracles, standing on Some of them can move here. There's no space. Hallelujah. Hallelujah sir this man wearing white please can you stand don't be embarrassed can you place your hand on your neck i want to pray for you i don't know what is there but the lord is asking me to rebuke it in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you and i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may the anointing of the spirit bring you life right now and bring you healing i command a release for you right now in jesus name i pray hallelujah 
Now, just hold on before we start taking the testimonies. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.